that would be a big gamble for them because if you win, then you're the champ, but you're signed with the PFL. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so so June, you get the Tyson Fury bout negotiated. Did you get everything you want? Was it easy? Um. Again, you don't walk in a room for a contract to get everything that you want. Right. And at that moment, I was just so happy, happy to get that fight happen because mm. from that fight, a lot of things will be open. That fight will open a lot of doubt. You know, sometimes, uh, even in the negotiation, sometimes you have to see long term, like what it comes with. Mm -hmm. Now I get this fight. I think it's, it should have be the it should have be the focus, right? Mm -hmm. After this fight, imagine. Hypothetically, I go out there, knock Tyson Fury out. What do you think will happen for me now? Where does that leave me? If you knock Tyson Fury out, you're the biggest combat sports star in the world. Okay. That's what I think. So is that everything that you will want? You want the cash. <laughs> you got to get the cash. Then you will get everything. <laughs> yeah, then you get the cash. Well, if you knock Tyson Fury out, the real money's in a rematch. Exactly. That's the real money. That's cool. Crazy money. Hey, that's what Are they I'm, giving you crazy money for the Tyson what, Fury what, fight? Huh? Are they giving you crazy money for the Tyson Fury fight? Yeah, they're giving me a good money. Yeah. Uh and very great condition. I I like I like a lot of component and again, a lot like a lot of component of this contract who was like uh the the thing, the treatment that they were giving me the access, how easy they make stuff for me, you know, like it's going to be the first time that my family going to attend to my fight and I don't even have to think about that. Mm. They're going to work on it. They're going to figure out how to bring my mom, my sister, my brother out to Saudi to watch that fight. Oh, okay. So they're going to take care of everything. They're going to take care. And I the think Saudis like, know how to throw that money around, boy. And I think that's, <laughs> that's, that's, some, that's something that for me was very, very important. Mm. I think, I see. you know, I could have half more money, but he wouldn't make me more happier uh, than stuff like that. And, you know, you kind of like work with people that you feel like, okay, they are trying their best, their very best to make you feel comfortable, feel happy. Right. I think that's, it's also, it's also a partnership, you know, it's not like one shot, okay, take everything that I can take and go. How can we build something like, is it like somebody that I can trust? Can we build something for the future? And then when you feel like, yes, you invest into that relationship. Mm, okay. So June, they negotiate the fight. Uh, is it 12 rounds? 10 rounds. 10 rounds. Yeah. 10 rounds. And uh, they've created a new belt. Right? Yeah. And um, you're happy with the money. You're happy with the conditions. You're happy with everything. So yeah. then in June is when you go hardcore boxing training. Like when did you start like hardcore boxing training? I was training uh boxing already. Um no no like I was in a camp. Well, but you're recovering from your knee surgery first of all, right? Yes. So yes. you can't kick and you can't wrestle. I can kick, I can wrestle. I mean, obviously but you have to be careful. I have to be careful. But how is the knee now? 100%? I have I don't have to worry about like kick wrestling. Right. Just knee. Uh, my knee is probably 90%. I mean, when you get a knee surgery. Did you get any stem cells or anything? Not yet. How I long are you in town for? I had a, um, a PRP. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving tonight. You're leaving tonight? Yeah. There's a company in Austin, Ways to Well, <clears throat> that I wanted to hook you Ways up with. Ways to Well, that does yes. Stem cells. I, get, I get in contact with them. I yeah. even do, uh, get them to do my exam. And I think uh, Eric. Uh, Nixick put me in contact with um with Brigham? He sent me a contact. Uh? I can take yeah, care of that. Yeah, with Brigham. Yeah, I can take yeah. care of that too. I can About the same, sir, if we have yeah. a time. And I think you should I gonna, do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to give you the shirt. Yeah, um, for sure. You know. It'll help you. It it's definitely very, will. It's very important to take care of. To, <clears throat> man, to maintain the vehicle. <laughs> yes, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. And what a vehicle it is. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, when you're gonna put it in a big tr a crash like this, so yeah, right. <laughs> That's a good way to put be it. Yeah, because Tyson Fury is a big, is a monster. He's a monster. I, st I stand next to him. I'm like, damn, this guy is big, <laughs> He's right? Big. 
I'm like, you really need to go full force. <laughs> yeah, he's a big fellow, and he's very good, very skillful. Oh, I mean, man. You, you jump into the top of the heap, and maybe then, ever. And then I was there at the press conference next to him, and I'm like, yes, look, my fat belly, I'm, uh, I'm a fat pig, I'm this. I'm like, don't you fool me. Yeah. I have seen you. <laughs> yeah. He like, tricks people with that yeah. belly. I'm like, don't you fool me. Don't you trick me, Tyson. <laughs> I have seen you box. And you do the box as a fat anything at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, because he doesn't. He's an animal. If you just focus on his body, then you'll be like, oh, I think easy job. No, right. man. When no. the guy's in the ring moving, you, I'm like, okay, is it like something that they are remoting or something? I'm like, no, don't you fool me. No, he's very, very skillful. Yeah. 